This illustration deals with securing and supporting uh, NM cable, non-metallic sheath cable, and it's in accordance with 334.30. Uh, purpose of change was to provide a new uh, sentence. And this new sentence has been added to clarify that the cable length between the last cable support and the junction box enclosure would not exceed 18 inches total. Now, let's uh, kind of review this. And first, I'd like to review the uh, basic support rules. And so let's uh, review the middle call out to the left. Uh, and notice it says a general rule uh, type IMC should be supported at four and a half intervals. So uh, if you had, a, say, an M cable uh, or non-metallic sheath cable, then naturally it would be supported at intervals at four and a half foot, but within 12 inches of the box uh, is basically uh, the rule there. So uh, we, would, we wouldn't be looking at IM cable, that's intermediate conduit. We would be looking uh, at non-metallic sheath cable. So that's kind of a little bit of slip of the tongue there. Now, dropping down below that, then notice that type NMC cable should be securely fastened within 12 inches of each outlet, junction box, cabinet, conduit body of other conduit terminations. So we basically have a 12-inch support uh, within the uh, device box, as you see there, but then every four and a half uh, uh, feet after that, and that's kind of uh, in compliance with the 334.30, uh, and then the NM cable can be uh, uh, looked at in more detail in 334.116a. Now, Let's look at the fat, look at the illustration to the right now. B, uh, in other words, the B uh, illustration. Then notice we have plastic tie wire there supporting that uh, uh, non metallic sheet cable running uh, up that uh, framing member at every four and a half foot, as you see. Uh, so if framing members fail to provide fastening within 12 inch, Fasting rule can be increased to four and a half foot there. So that's what we have. And, uh, but now notice the, uh, the new sentence and the purpose of change. Look at the box on the framing member to the very right of the illustration. What they're talking about in that 18-inch rule. Now notice we support within 12 inches. You see the arrow that points uh, between the, t the supporting point, and then notice we're not to exceed 12 inches. But as we offset the cable, as you see where it says 18 inch rule, will we offset that cable? We can never have it more than 18 inches of cable, but the support would be within 12 inches. So uh, keep that in mind as we re uh, review the uh, notes which are in blue. Note one to the left, right between the two illustrations. The cable length between the cable entry and the closest cable support now shall not exceed 18 inches per illustration B. So this is what we're talking about if you look at that last framing member with the box, then the 12 inch support rules there, but the cable could not exceed 18 inches in length between the 12-inch uh, uh, support rule there that we see. Now, the final rule, uh, note two, it says references to NMS have been deleted. So we will no longer have the signaling cable, NM uh, type cable. It'll just, uh, that has been deleted. So remember that. So uh, that's a revision. And then that contains the new sentence rule for you guys out there running uh, non-metallic sheath cable, which we call Romex or Rope, depending on what part of the country uh, you're from. But I think this kind of covers this so it uh, can be well understood. The only th other thing I would point out in closing uh, out this uh, uh, new sentence rule, notice the 
framing member supports where the cable is run horizontally through the hose, then that cable is considered supported by the framing members. There you see, until you make that 90 degree turn and run up the, uh, up the face of that framing member, then the support rule would kick in.